Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Attack on Titan video and today we're going to be talking about the butterfly effect in Attack on Titan. And before the video starts, I want to let you guys know that I want to do a live stream debating AoE. And if you guys are against AoE, please let me know down in the comments and or message me on Instagram. I'm going to put it up right now if you're interested in doing the live stream because I got a couple people that want to do the live stream saying that AoE is real. So I just need someone to debate those type of people. So let me know down in the comment section or message me on Instagram if you're interested. Go straight into the video. This video is going to be talking about how a butterfly effect is in Attack on Titan and how the small changes that are from the manga to the anime are going to lead to a bigger event. And that's the definition of a butterfly effect. If you look it up on Google, it says that there's small events that can lead to larger consequences. And we have one large consequence that is in Attack on Titan, but I will get to it. And in Attack on Titan Season 1, the anime and manga start off differently. In the manga, we have Eren waking up on the tree compared to in the anime where he's underneath the tree sleeping on the grass and then we see Mikasa's position from left to right in the anime where she is looking left and then in the manga she's looking right and we also get to see this in paths when Eren's looking into paths for the very first time and we also have a small change in Mikasa's scarf which is black in the manga showing in this picture right here of paths and then in the, in the manga we have Isayama confirming that the scarf was black in the manga compared to the anime where it's red so why is there a black scarf in Eren's memories looking into paths when it should be red if he's looking towards the past not we all know that looking into paths can let you see the past present and future but if he's looking towards the past why is he looking at a black scarf Mikasa when it's confirmed in the manga that she is wearing a black scarf compared to the anime where she's wearing a red one so if he was looking into the memories from the anime, the scarf should be red and not black. So there's something going on there that we are not sure of. And then we have in season 1, for the next small change from the anime to the manga, is Berserk Eren, which is not com is not in the manga and is a completely whole new anime original scene. And in the manga, Eren had to fight Alf Annie with just his thoughts alone and his strength that he was able to control with his titan. And then in the anime, we have Berserk Eren who lost control of his titan due to his anger. And then eventually he does say that I will destroy the world. And we also have this little hint from Jean saying, what if we end up like Marco? What if Eren can't control himself when we end up like Marco? If you guys don't know what he means, is Marco eventually died, which we all know he got bit in half by a Titan because of Annie. And for season four, part three, we have a key visual of Berserk Eren returning with the blue eyes. And if you guys don't remember what episode he first came out on, he came out on season one, episode 25, where he also has blue eyes. And this is important because one of the smallest changes that we have between the anime and manga but it is a very big change in the overall story because Berserk Eren is returned in season 4 part 4 of the anime it was never in the manga because there is rumors of a different ending happening and there's a lot of evidence going towards it if you guys want to check out my theories on that it's going to be i'm going to put a playlist right here or it's going to be down in the description so not even the manga readers know why is berserk Eren even returning and there is a and in season one we have Jean saying that what if they end up like Marco with Eren losing control but in that context of season one it was just saying because Eren just turned into a titan but now that Eren has full control over that like now it kind of it may or may not make sense in this context but there is a little bit of foreshadowing there and then we have the Mikasa OVA which is the biggest change for this butterfly effect theory in that OVA it shows us a scene from season 1 episode 10 where Mikasa is looking at a titan and just thinking about her death in this episode but in the original anime she, she fights back and she ends up coming across Eren who comes and protects her in his titan form in the OVA there's a butterfly that appears before the pomegranate telling Mikasa that she wants to create she can escape that reality and create a new life for herself and that's exactly what she does she decides to go back to what happens if parents never died and would she still end up in the same situation and when she accepts the deal from the butterfly she creates a new timeline of where Eren never died and since Eren never died that means that she never gave up fighting that titan and in the OVA we start off with a small changes happening to the story with the killers dying to the dogs on the way to Mikasa's house so that means her parents never died and she never moved in with Eren and she never got close to him but in this OVA Eren and Mikasa still meet up due to Eren's dad being a doctor and Eren's dad had to go check up on Mikasa's mom because Mikasa's mom was pregnant and he brought her along Eren and Eren and Mikasa still end up being friends and in this version Mikasa's more soft-spoken just because she hasn't gone through anything she hasn't seen death and she never had to fight for her life compared to the anime and Eren still gives her the scarf but it's just in a different context because Mikasa still ends up moving to Shiganshina because her mom is having complications with the baby and she Eren's dad needs to be closer to her rather than going to the countryside so he, he, he recommends moving into Shiganshina and Eren still gives her the scarf and still says the same thing but it's due to a different situation in the anime he gives it to her after 
her parents are dead. He wants to comfort her in the anime, but in this context, he just wants to give it to her. She can remember him because Aaron still plans on chasing freedom no matter what timeline he is in. He still decides to go chase freedom and he decides to choose freedom by a hot air balloon, which is random because they don't know anything about planes, but they know how to create hot air balloons, which I I don't understand personally, but it, somehow it's something. Later on, Eren decides to take Mikasa to go see the scouts return from a mission. In the main anime, we get the scouts getting yelled at saying that the tax dollars are being used, put to waste because the scouts can't bring results. And later, the whole court case with Eren is so there is talks of disbanding the scouts because the scouts do not prove any successful missions in terms of learning new things about humanity outside the walls. And Eren was the key factor in doing this because they used Eren as a way to take back Shiganshina. But in this OVA, the scouts disband because they didn't have Aaron since Aaron never turned into a titan losing his dad because the wall has never broken into so the scouts are no longer being used in this universe and then in season 4 we have the black bird that Falco sees in the manga compared to the white bird that happens in the anime it's just a small difference in color of the birds but it still means something because we have seen this imagery before between two different colored wings we have it on the scouts and then we had it at the end of the manga and then the biggest thing that we have is a black jacket on little kid Aaron which doesn't make sense because it's weird to see the red and the black like differences because us manga readers don't even know what's going on with those jackets because if Mikasa is looking towards the past Aaron should be wearing the red sweater as he, as he always was in the anime but then for some reason he has a black sweater on and I have a theory to this image right here where it shows this little kid Aaron with the black sweater and I have a theory about what's it about where that image is from but I'm going to save it for the manga section so manga readers please continue watching the rest of the video towards the end so you can see what I'm talking about as well as another, another theory that I have. And we also have it on this album cover by Linked Horizon who has made the intros for Attack on Titan season 1 through 3. And then for one of the songs that they, that they have on their album covers it shows a black wing with blood on it and then we have a white wing. For one of the intros which I think is season 2 or season 3 I will put it up on screen because I don't know currently which intro it's from. But it shows Armin looking up towards the sky and then we see a black wing and a white wing being represented in the outro. So these two wings these two colored wings mean something. And then we also have the path's color which is yellow in the manga and blue in the anime. And then we have it for, for the, our first outro of season 4. We have paths being yellow. But later on it goes it switches to blue. So there's something going on between that. I don't know the full. I can't make a full connection to that. But there's something going on with the path's color in that outro. And then the biggest and smallest thing that we have is Eren's eyes awake in the anime. But they were closed in the manga. And then we have Eren's facial expressions to Ymir. And in the manga we see that Eren is more shocked about seeing your mirror in there because he never expected anyone to be in there besides himself and then in the anime he kind of looks like he kind of expected her to be there because he he's not surprised when he sees her but that is enough for the anime only sections thank you so much for watching but we're going to be heading into manga spoiler territory now for the last thing this the last changes that we have before i end off the video for the anime only there's a game that isayama used to play called murder love and there is the first game which is called murder love it has one one ending which i'm not going to spoil and then there's a different ending called murder love alternative where there's a whole completely different ending the same events still happen in the main game but it ends up leading to a bigger event towards the end and isayama has said straight up that he has ripped off the game and he wanted to add his own little flavor to it which is the titans compared to max and you can kind of see that in the Attack on Titan because if you guys are know anything about the mecha genre, pretty much go into a robot which you can control. And then in Attack on Titan, we have the Titans which you can technically kind of control. And then there's this picture of Peak which kind of confirms because her hands are inside the titan and this is exactly how mecha operate you can like there's little switches that they can pull on and this is kind of how attack on titan got inspired from murder love if you guys want to check out more about murder love i recommend getting into it if you're interested in it but it will spoil some things about attack on titan because it is a straight up rip off but yeah that's about it and before you guys leave the video let me know if you guys are interested in the debate of aoe let me know down in the comments or hit me up on instagram we're gonna go straight into the manga spoilers Okay, manga readers. Okay, so like I said, at the end of the manga, we have a white wing, which is from when Mikasa says that, thank you for wrapping the scarf around me. And But then we also have the linked horizon, which has a black wing with blood on it. And from what we know from the a r music video, it shows that everything's going to be dark when Aaron kills everyone eventually in the a r theory. So if the manga... If the manga was supposed to be the good ending, then we're going to get the bad ending in Attack on Titan. And this is my theory that I said that I had for... Okay, remember the theory that I said about the black jacket? Okay, so 
the theory that I have, according to the black jacket, is that apparently she's supposed to see him running up the hill, right? That's her version of seeing him, seeing Aaron run up the hill. And then we have for the Attack of Titan chapter 139, we see that Aaron has made it up to the tree and then you can see Mikasa running up behind him. And then we have Armin at the very back. So I think that this might be a manga memory from her seeing Aaron run up the tree because we see that the, he is wearing a black jacket in the manga cover of chapter 139 but then right here he's also wearing a black jacket so my theory is that she's seeing manga memories of that from a different timeline in a different episode we get a, a red jacket so something's not adding up here in my opinion but i think she is most likely seeing manga memories because she's apparently able to make different timelines according to the timeline theory for the anime onis that are still around that don't care about spoilers so the timeline theory is pretty much that mikasa can create different timelines and this is confirmed by the by the butterfly telling her that she wants to re reset reality she can create a new one and that's pretty much what she does and then we also have in the manga where she created a what if i left with Aaron instead of calling him family timeline theory is pretty complicated but that's pretty much how i can kind of summarize it i'm missing a lot of parts in it but that's pretty much how i can summarize it i try to do all the small changes from the beginning of the anime to the and the manga i can go from season one to four but i don't want to do that because there's so many changes that i don't want to talk about but i'm just talking about the bigger the smaller events that can lead to a bigger bigger consequences but yeah that's pretty much the end of the video thank you guys so much for watching if you liked it leave a like on the video subscribe if you want to but i'm going to be doing a couple more aoe theories before the before attack on titan returns and afterwards i'm not going to be doing any more attack on titan videos because clearly attack on titan will be over but i am going to be doing a couple more maybe like two more theory videos plus a live stream if anyone is interested thank you guys so much for watching i've been alex and i'll see you guys in another attack on titan video